morning, Bob. Hey, how uh, are you? I have a lot of shoulder inj injuries with uh, my swimming. Okay. And I wondered, I'm very confused on when to use heat and cold. Oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of people have that question. Uh, a lot of people get it wrong, actually. Uh, so I'm glad you asked. Uh, cold is very appropriate immediate post-injury. Uh, and you would uh, use the cold for two to three days, typically. Uh, have it on cold for about 20 minutes or so. Take an hour, two, three hour break and then put it on again. So it's on again, off again type thing. Okay. Uh, do that for two or three days. It has a couple of benefits. It's gonna help reduce the swelling that's gonna be secondary to that injury. So we keep the swelling down, that'll speed up the healing. The cold will have a topical analgesic effect. So it'll take away some of the pain. Um, and, and so it helps the healing process occur quicker. Uh, it'll help muscles to relax a little bit. Uh, so the cold over that area would be very beneficial for the first two or three days. Um, then, if it starts to resolve a little bit, then heat may be a benefit later on, uh, and that'll help increase the vascularity, uh, vascularity to the area. Uh, you get more nutrition for healing, that'll speed the healing process also. Then, three weeks later, you, you, you restrain it again, go back right to, to cold and do that for two or three days again. So you can alternate back and forth okay. between heat and cold, uh, but post-injury cold, for, for longer term therapeutic uh, effect, if, to speed healing, then warm might be better. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. And you can use that in, in any shoulder, neck. Uh, there are a number of products available to, to help do that. Uh, uh, all of these products, by the way, are filled with a proprietary high density uh, fill. Uh, there's a lot of low density, lighter material. Uh, they lose their thermal effect very quickly. Uh, with, with this proprietary uh, fill in here, uh, it's heavy material, it retains the thermal effect much longer, so you can have it on a full 20 minutes and it's not gonna get much warmer, it'll, it'll, it'll retain that thermal effect. So uh, this one is just a plastic cover, as you can see. You, you, would, you would want an interface before you put this on your shoulder. Uh, you'd have to have a terry towel or something, some interface, because okay. that would probably be too cold to the skin. And especially for uh, elderly patients, uh, they really need something, an interface. So that's the kind of the economy version. Uh, this is the same, uh, exact same mater material for the fill, uh, but it's covered with a non-woven material. Uh, you can put this directly on your skin. Okay. And, and uh, the, the cool thing about this, literally cool, um, if you put that in the freezer, you would expect it to get real firm and stiff. With this material, if you put it in the freezer, it'll stay conformable. So you can conform it around an ankle or around an elbow. It'll conform around that even though it's very, very cold. So that's mid-range by far. Uh, more of these are sold than any other. Uh, then there's this, which is the dual comfort pack. Uh, it has the benefit of the thermal in interface that goes to the skin. But on the other side is a non-woven material. And I've got a strap here. Uh, you can hook Velcro straps to this. So, and you can see it easily shape this over a shoulder, um, but then the, the strap can be applied around your trunk, and, and now you're holding this on your shoulder and getting a little bit of compression too. So the rule after injury is the rice principle, which is rest, you gotta take it easy for a, a, a while. Uh, uh, the I is ice or cold, uh, C is compression, and that would help with compression, and E is elevation for an ankle sprain or something, uh, it's great to be walking that, that utilizes the muscle pump or have the ankle above the heart to allow gravity to help drain the fluid out of that injured area. So that's the rice principle. Um, we follow that, uh, very appropriate uh, post-injury, uh, but here's a very uh, affordable, conformable cold that's gonna help that area heal faster. Okay. Make sense? Yes, thank you very much. I think I like the uh, trisectional dual comfort. For the professional now, they could have this in their office, a, a free poster, uh, a free display rack with, with patient brochure. Uh, in the patient brochure are instructions uh, to answer your question, when do we use cold, when do you use hot? So it's a very educational brochure. Um, and and uh, these packs are available, just buy a case and, and the whole display is available. Uh, if, a, if a professional would buy two cases, 
then uh, Core will customize your logo, your facility, your information um, on, on, the, on the pack. Then when the patient has this in the freezer and, and, and they have an injury and they use it, the first thing they'll see is the place that they got it from and they'll know who their source of, of uh, their medical care is going to be. And it's a constant reminder, it's a beautiful marketing technique uh, for that professional who, who deals with these products that, um, yeah, that's where we got it and that's where we're going to go for our health care. So that, that personalization is a very, very important marketing tool.